got an ox connect Like that nigga Tommy Guns, tons or whatever Without leaves the tons of cheddar The game I'm ahead of holler when you get five hundred thousand or better Boy, this money would you Shane G. At Classic Wood. My bad, man. I just woke up from a nap. I'm out of it. I mean, it's all good. We ain't did this in about two weeks, so, you know, we back. Um, yeah. How was 420, man? You just living dope. that Vegas life. Yeah. Dog. Yeah, you already know. Uh, had, to, had to celebrate and, you know, do it right in Vegas. You know, My motto in Vegas show. is just like when undergrad. Get drunk, make bad decisions, yeah. though. Exactly. Exactly. That's really so, all that you know, that's, that's what we're about. To do. Yeah. That's what we're about. You wow. just gotta be with it. Making that. I be with it. Yeah, yeah. That's that's what it's yeah. about. So you know, um, y'all y'all might hear some other voices in the background. We got a few special guests in the building today, as always at the Air G Life. At Air G Life. I'm not hope, special anymore. I hope right, y'all watch the show. show. Just call themselves a co-host on the podcast. <laughs> like, yeah. What up though, Mogul Minded yeah. Mo from Detroit? You can look it up at Mogul Minded Mo. It's your girl, eighty six from Detroit. That's a dope ass handle. So we just in this bitch. Just 86. It's just a bunch of Detroit people in here today. Um, oh. So you know we gon' we gon' keep it real home today. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> real domestic. <laughs> we gon' keep it real at the crib today. Um, you know, as always though, we gotta uh, cover some news. You know, give you guys uh, the real. Um, as far as what's going on with the country, and then uh, you know we're gonna get into some fun combo. Um, Cause I, I've been out of Detroit for five years now. Like I go back and visit like every year, like I was telling you all or whatever, but like that's different than living there. You know what I'm saying? So Mo, you still live there. You know what I'm saying? All the people just got back. Thank God. From, uh, you know what I'm saying? Stay back out there for two years. Now yeah. you was out here for nine years. Yep, yep. And yep. then went back for two years. Yep, yep, yep. So yep, you know, yep. you, you got some that. shit to, to tell us. You know what I'm saying? Um, no, it was just some bullshit, really. You know what I'm saying? I just, I really, it really was um, uh, not not anything substantial to come for that. I wasted a lot of money. Uh, yeah, drained a lot of accounts for that move back, not to really reciprocate. Uh, yeah, moved in a very expensive area. Um, yeah, so now I'm here, and I'm glad to be back home. Uh, I, I realized I wasn't missing shit. Like, it's still... Slow motion. It's still... No, it's fast paced up there, but it's the same bullshit going yeah, on. Yeah, that's what I mean, though. Same niggas, yeah. niggas on that dumb shit. It's still girl. You can leave and come back, and they like, oh, you back. still trying to What you doing? Out. You want to go to the club? <laughs> you pop this bottle? Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You still trying to snatch some yeah. yeah. <laughs> Man, all right. So, yeah, we're going we to get into all of that. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, but first, uh, so the one thing that I wanted to cover, like I said, as far as politics, uh, this article's in the New York Times. Um... It was written by Elsa Butler, so go ahead and check that out. The House passes measure to repeal and replace the Affordable Care Act. Uh, the House on Thursday narrowly approved legislation to repeal and replace major parts of the Affordable Care Act as Republicans recovered from their earlier failures and moved a step closer to delivering on their promise to reshape American health care without mandated insurance coverage. The vote 217 to 213 held on tr President Trump's 105th day in office is a significant step on what could be a long legislative road. 20 Republicans bolted from their leadership to vote no, but the win keeps alive the party's dream of unwinding President Barack Obama's signature domestic achievement. Um, some other things about this before I get y'all's thoughts. Um, if they bring back, like the main thing that everybody's concerned about about this, rightfully so, is the, the uh, pre-existing conditions um, as far as who can and who can and can't get health insurance, right? Because before Obamacare, if you had a pre-existing condition, health insurance companies would just straight deny you coverage, right. or you'd be paying into it for so long, and then when you need it, they'll look into your background and be like, oh, you had pimples when you were 13, that could have been skin cancer, you didn't tell us about that, so we're not gonna pay for your shit. 
So right. that, that actually, actually <laughs> that that's actually happened before yeah. Obamacare. Now they're not allowed to, to do that. They can't discriminate based on pre existing conditions. Like that's kind of the whole reason insurance exists in the first place. Whoa. So now they're repealing that part of it, so everybody's basically going back to the old system. Um, so everybody's really scared because you know you're not going to be able to afford it. You know you're not necessarily mandated to buy it anymore, but at the same time, what they uh, what they have now also is the insurance companies are allowed to tax you based on how long you go without having insurance. So like let's say you skip getting insurance for five years, you won't be penalized by the government like with taxes or whatever. But when you go to get insurance, they'll be like, oh, so you went five years without insurance? Oh, okay, so your rate is going to be in the in the higher bracket, you know what I mean? And they're going to make you pay way more money. So um, now as far as the pre-existing conditions also for women specifically, this is really bad because they consider rape a pre-existing condition. They consider domestic abuse a pre-existing condition. Um, there's a couple of other things that only apply pretty much to women specifically that they consider pre-existing conditions that will stop you from getting health insurance. So what are y'all's thoughts on what the Republicans have done? With, with they, that, they last, succeed, that last statement, you know I mean? before we get into the whole thing, that last statement just let me know that doctors need to hit the weights before they tell people that, like, oh, you got raped? Nah, that's pre-existing. <laughs> like, you looking for a fight, somebody yeah. don't... So I think they should really hit the weights before they tell people that. Yeah, like, I mean, what, that's just, that's incredible. See, I'm not a politician, so I don't give a fuck about speaking politically. I, yeah, it's yeah, funny, no. to me it's like, when people, you know how people like the hush-hush or the tab with people, or you ain't into politics anyway type of shit. Yeah. Like, when people be like, well, the system wasn't meant to give a fuck about you. It's the, the, uh, the allure that people think that the system is working for them and that it, you know what I'm saying? Obama fucked a lot of people up. Oh, it made people really think yeah, that the did. system was working and they could be a part of... I think now they're at a point where they don't give a fuck. So they're just like, we about to let y'all know, like, get in line and it's there, there it is, it is, SOS. It is. Like, it ain't no more like, cause the Get politicians the promise, oh, I'm gonna do for some for your baby and your grandmama. They just like, nah, you sick, fuck you. Yeah, it's over. And but look it's at you with a straight been. face. And it's always been that way. It's over. It's always been that way. But like yeah. the mask of how ugly politics is off. Like everybody yeah. knows it's a fat, yeah. ugly bitch fucking It's ball. always been a get down it's or lay down yeah. type situation. But you know what the crazy thing is? That's like. And they've always been trying to lie to you like it's been a bad bitch in your bed. But it's an ugly ass bitch yeah. fucking you over. Yeah. And the mask is off and they can't even put it back on. And it's, it's been like that since like probably the early 80s for sure, I would say. Because like before that, right? Like. Cause, Cause you had the Great Depression and all that shit, you know what I'm saying? Basically doing the, the same policies that Trump is doing now economically as far as like all the deregulation and cutting taxes for the rich and taxing the middle class and the lower class more and all that shit, like cutting taxes for corporations, all that shit is what led to the Great Depression. You know what I'm saying? FDR came in and implemented all the policies that Bernie Sanders wants to implement right now and he saved the country. And we went on like a 30 year economic prosperity run basically until like the 80s, right? But a lot of people, he's, what a lot of people don't pay attention to is he's the reason like, term limits exist. the country was you know so I mean? fucked he, up yeah, mentally when, over war mm -hmm. that they needed a, a, a nigga to, on some kumbaya shit. Yeah. Even though they was pump faking the whole time on that kumbaya shit, <laughs> even I mean, though yeah, crazy but, stuff was still going on behind the scenes, they course, needed that kumbaya, that kumbaya shit yeah. until yeah. some shit pop off again and then they got people that get wild again. Yeah, politics yeah. is all the same as a dog and pony show. I mean, but see, the, the thing about that too is like everything is politics. Yeah. Everything is politics. Like yeah. literally every single aspect. Of, you know, like I was watching a podcast earlier, Kyle Polinsky on Secular Talk said that. It's like literally every aspect of your life is politics. And I'm sure. like, you know what, that's true. What, what's sure. the best way to make somebody who doesn't know that they're a slave keep on being a slave? Tell them what they want to hear. It's to make them think they're involved in the yeah. process mm -hmm. while they're not. Yeah, I agree with that. That's how politics is. I agree with that. It's the cover for, oh, yeah, you got a voice, baby. Go ahead and put that uh, belly down. You, you, At the end uh, of the day, though, they know exactly who they're going to put know, in place, what there's, systems they're going to implement. Things, there's two things that if you eliminate it, it wouldn't be like that. One of them's the Electoral College, yeah. and the other one 
is money in politics. If you take money out of politics and you don't allow and you don't allow corporations to donate unlimited money and all that stuff, then they, they don't work for the politicians at that point. There's no incentive to. They work for us then. Because we're exactly. the ones that made their campaign. You know what I'm saying? And then it so would have to be about us. And it would have to put the system ain't built to be about That's us. That's why Bernie so, was so popular because he only took money from us. He didn't take any big money donations from like corporations or buildings. And that's why I didn't hear about so Bernie <laughs> until they needed a good, like, like you said, that, that good, yeah. quiet, he, he gained his, like, peaceful he guy again. He went up to what I think he got forty-seven percent of the vote in the primary, and nobody knew who. Like I didn't, I didn't know who Bernie Sanders was before the primary. I didn't either. Before. I had no idea, and he ended up with forty-seven percent of the vote. Like See, you know what I'm saying? Common sense. So it's like if you keep pushing that philosophy, he'll get. Nah, mm -hmm. next time. Nope. I think so. Nah, you I think know what? Listen, he walked yeah. with he walked with Martin Luther King. Right, he did marches with Jesse Jackson and Al Sharpton. <laughs> you got pictures of him since the time no. he was thirty. He's Look. a he's a politician that, that is actually, lost in the whirlwind. He's trying to actually do for actually, good, I, but there's a reason him. why up serious, until they needed a voice. To be like a voice of reason in amongst chaos for a quick second, mm -hmm. he's been doing and being a great guy for the last Forever. fifty yeah. years in yeah. politics. Right. And but Hillary was the establishment uh, candidate. She but that don't that don't until get they you wanted you politics. until they wanted you to hear about a great guy. But look how quick. But look how quick. That's why they but look how quick, quick. Nah, they can sweep yeah. a good guy under the rug that, exactly. because yeah. good guys are focused on helping the people. He's not gonna do that. that ain't Hillary so. has got an agenda, but she, yeah. she's good for trying to talk to the people. Hillary failed because she wasn't good enough. Like, she wasn't good message? enough at making the people think that she gave a fuck about them. She was sloppy. She, she was sloppy. She no, she was no, because for the last fifteen the years she was anti them. Like she was just. Like, what was Hillary's message? Like, if you were to take away from her campaign, like, what know, did Hillary man. Run she had too many slogans. I she, had to be, I slogans. she had the most slogans in political history. Award she had the most slogans on, in, in, in political history because she she didn't even she have was, a message, so she, she was, was just trying to. Find I want to be president. Yeah. If like, you ask somebody what Bernie Sanders' agenda is, he wanted to do free college, he wanted to uh, do yeah, infrastructure yeah, spending, he wanted that to fucked up. do free health care, he wanted to stop doing wars. Like you know exactly what. He and, wanted and what and what and what, what, and what, and what, 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 and what is politics and the government ran by? Money and power, money and corporate. So. That's if exactly you want to keep, if you want to, if the if the uh, if the one percent want to stay one percent, if the rich, because you got to think about this, all politicians, whether they Dominican, I mean, that's a Dominican, whether they uh, Republicans or Democrats, they all go into the same dinners, they all live in the same they areas, the same they all in, in the, the same, same tax bracket. Yeah, they are not thinking or have to even like, if you've ever, we know coming from Detroit, mm -hmm. like. In the hood, it's a whole different mentality than even the suburbs. And then even from the suburbs, it's a whole different mentality to from the, the millionaire lifestyle. Yeah. And then it's, from there, it's a whole different lifestyle mentality from the country folk and yeah. the Bible Belt. And like, throughout the whole process, everything remains constant. I don't care whether you talk about good health care, that one's talking good health care, one's talking bad health care. But at the end of the day, the sick people get fucked over. Yeah. Yeah. People that don't got it get fucked over, yeah. mm -hmm. and then if you got it, you getting fucked over because you paying for some shit you ain't even sick for, hoping that well if I get sick then I I'm covered. My biggest thing so, with this is is um it's not even about the politics. Like you said, it's all it's all gonna stay the same. E40 say it all the time. The game changed, but you know what I'm saying. The look the same, but. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The game ain't changed. E40 players, been around for years. Changed. He tells. The game looks the same. Yeah. The same is the same. But my thing is, ignorance is bliss. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. People don't go based on what's real, depending on where you're from. Like, we from an area where we want to know what's real. That's why artists don't come out of our city. That's why it's not too much talent coming out, because we want to know what's real. Right. Oh, you can rap? That's dope. But what you rapping about? <laughs> Do I want to hear it? Nah, get out of my face. That's how our <laughs> city is built. It, but the country not also, built. What you saying? Yeah, the country right. not built like that. Like ignorance is bliss. Mm -hmm. If you know you eating good and you doing good, it don't matter who you know the president what? is. Yeah. It don't matter what exactly. they talking about. Is they cutting into my pocket? Yeah. Right. No. And that goes right yes. back to mentality. You know what the people that, that ignorance that are is bliss. From as long as they know or the ghettos or the lower income housing. We have a completely like ignorance we feel and have felt the the struggle. I don't care if you got jobs. 
Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Have felt like what working your ass off and still barely getting above water feel like. It, having to work hard yeah, for every job. Like, like, having to be out here originally. But this, I was working at a job where I was, I was grinding. And out, out here? Six oh, days these motherfuckers week. don't know what it's not like no, to have money. You they don't. Probably, they I, I, me like coming here to work, I could probably get a job and be working before I leave. A week oh, and a half visit, you know, yeah, and can make and can make some money before I leave here. Like because it's opportunity, and like when you come from opportunity, you really don't understand you don't appreciate what a struggle is. It's That's and why, like you know what? Matter of fact, fire festival, right? Did you hear about this shit? Did you hear about funniest the funniest shit ever? Yeah. Uh, so all right, so this nigga John Rule. Oh, no. Hey, That's funny already. Right. That's funny. Right. That's, right. That's, That's a punch in itself. That's they fucked up a hot box getting fired. This Swear nigga job rule, yeah, cut it off right there. This nigga cut it off right there. Donkey of the day. It was already. destined for failure the moment you said job rule. Uh, Everything about to go down. My nigga job rule uh, in some company, right? Murder. They end up doing, like, they, they, they set up, quote unquote, a festival that's supposed to have good music artists. That's why you said, what is that? Look, y'all, you're supposed to have all the lit rap. They were like, what happened was, they were like, who's doing it? My nigga who? Hold on, we gonna get to that, because I want to bring that up at the end. My nigga Jazz here? No, I'm not coming. Did you just say best and Yachty in the same motherfucking sentence? I said all the lit rappers. All the lit rappers heard Ja Rule and said, fuck that. You let off with Ja Rule, so I know you ain't say the best. Relax. Everybody calm down. You know what I mean? So... But nah, so so they they went to a uh, like a private island. It was supposed to be like this ill resort. It's supposed to have like all the uh like the private meals set up and like everything's supposed to be like five star and all this shit, right? These motherfuckers get there after paying like ten dollars in this company per ticket, right? All these rich people who end up going to this island. It's tents set up. There's no electricity on it. Huh? There's Got no your concert. bitch ass. <laughs> There's no oh, concert. Damn. Ja Rule doesn't show up. Nobody's there. And, like, all of a sudden, everybody starts Instagramming and tweeting out pictures. And yeah, shit. Like, I've seen that. I've seen that shit on Send Instagram, help. bro. There's no electricity. Seen Our that. phones are going to die. But I didn't like, read. I didn't read. They were pictures of plates. It was paper plates with, like, I've cheese sandwiches shit, and shit son. like that. That was the glorious news. Yo, I've seen so, that shit. They ain't even had bands on the table. Hey, Ja Rule finessed their ass. I didn't know that was happening. Exactly what happened. I didn't know that's what happened. I just that nigga said, well, well, I'll be without you. That was the computer virus, nigga. That was that computer yeah, virus. Give me your debit so, card so, information. You like, want it. So, like, look, like, 85% of me feels bad for the people. Because I'm like, yo, that's I don't. Do you really? like, I never yeah, feel bad for yeah, rich people when they give the nest out of money. That's, like, that's, this, that's why I said, like, 85. You'll be all right. Nah, man. They wrote it off on their taxes. Nah, you know what I'm saying? If, if you're paying money and you're expecting a certain services and stuff, and you man, promise a certain thing, and you don't get it, that's fucked up. Fuck. But that 15 That's because we come from the struggle and we respect the dollar. Then I'm like, fuck, like, fuck that. We'll just go somewhere else. I'm sorry, baby. I'll take you to Paris next week. Because I'm like, it's hard for me to feel bad for rich people when they get put in a struggle situation. $10,000 ain't shit to them. shit on poor people all the time. And like, their, their struggle ain't our struggle. Their struggle is like, fuck, I lost 100000 right. yeah. That's a real struggle. In Vegas. Ten, if you can spend <laughs> 10 bands that's to go watch some motherfuckers that you most likely don't know, that's my thing. That's throwaway money. He that's put your ass on a camping trip. For you, Me man. neither. That and and you didn't hear him saying, these motherfuckers finessed us out of money. They like, we don't have electricity. We need help. Sit, First come of get all, us. We're, we're, we're all lost all respect for them. Oh, never mind. Look, this is what I'm saying. Thing why you should have never. Snitch and sue your ass. You should have never, you should have never ever <laughs> felt bad for them as soon as they said they was paying 10 stacks to go uh, see Lil Yachty. Bam! You don't know white man. Don't know white motherfuckers spending ten thousand dollars. Give a fuck about little yachty for that much. They just go in there because it's name a nigga in his hood that's gonna pay (laughs) ten bucks to see him. (laughs) Facts. I don't know nobody, and I know a lot of motherfuckers that love me, and they I do not know nobody. All I'm saying is, if it was was Andre three thousand, Eminem, Jay Z. You might not go, but you'll be like, that's rich nigga shit. I hope they have fun. Little yachty. Lil Yachty though, 
cheat you. I'm not putting up with 20 to support it. I just want to say that Corey's hate of Will Yachty is fucking hilarious. <laughs> I don't respect no man that wears chocolate We're going to get chains. back to that. I don't, fuck, so I, don't give a, I don't give a fuck if you got diamonds on them or not. I don't respect no man that no chocolate chain. <laughs> when he dropped the ice by almost. Hey, solo, come up with that line. Right. Playing with the pussy like Peekaboo. And Peekaboo, you hiding. Right. So that means you hiding right. from the pussy. Right. Michael Jackson. Style, boy. That's what I was gonna say. Michael Jackson can come back from the dead and perform. I would not pay ten stacks to see that nigga. So I know that. Oh, it's not. Oh, there's, oh, there's, oh, there's nobody oh, that, that, that. There's nobody. Yeah, oh, you not about to get ten stacks. As soon as you said no, pay ten stacks to go. Ten to stacks is the thing. First I'm of not all, paying ten stacks you gotta to pay me to bring me to a motherfucking right. island and go see Yachty. You got. I gotta do all this work. I don't give a fuck if you got to my house. You have ten thousand. Jesus, the temptations. You stand in Marvin Gaye. Motherfucking uh, <laughs> two pocket <laughs> biggie. I'm, I'm not paying ten thousand dollars to come see another. Hey, mo- I'm a hustler. I, if you not, if I'm, I'm not making money at that event, yeah, I'm gonna find a way to make some money at that bitch. And fuck them. So, I'm not paying ten thousand dollars to. So who's, who's the new niggas in Detroit right now? Uh, you put us, you put us up on side, baby. I don't, All right, I don't listen to it's, it's two different that branches. Is, it's I'll like talk about that in four minutes. All right, side of baby. Right Niggas, sleep, niggas in Detroit up. even sleep on Saturday, baby. In Detroit, Man, there's a, in, 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 in every in every major city. In every in every city can it probably attest that there's you got two different branches of artists. You got the ones that are gimmicking and doing what everybody else is doing, or have the typical sound of that region or area, and then you got the talented motherfuckers that are getting either snatched up or slept on, mm-hmm. eventually getting snatched up. Right. People outside of Detroit usually hear about like dope boy cash out. Right. They hear about it's a cheesy, you know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. Um, prior to that, Big Shine. Mm-hmm. Cause there ain't many people that really come out and really get a big name outside of Detroit. You know, Royce and Eminem. I mean Royce and Eminem Royce and Eminem legends. Days, yeah, they've been here. They do it. So. I mean, right now popping, it's a lot of people popping that have some of buzz in the city because they got fans at the radio station or whatever, whatever. I'm going to talk about the dope ass. If you, anybody that's listening to this shit, write their names down, look them up. They are lit. Sada Baby is one that you brought up. Yeah. Sada Baby is a representation, I'd say, of a real Detroit nigga. He, he will slap the dog shit out of you if you want some fuck shit or pop your dumb ass. But if you want some cool shit, respectful shit, the nigga... His funniest shit in his music, he got bars, and then his his videos is hilarious. Man. Like, Man. I should, uh, which which one out of the ones that you say you say was like the uh, the, the the most lit? And you ain't even seen the most turned up joints. I don't know, like, cause he had a couple of joints that was that was hard. Like, what was the one that we was listening to before Return of the Strap? That one was hard. Oh, that's a new one. That's yeah, a, uh, the new drink he just dropped. That one was hard. Yeah, that, that one. one. He was he was at Hutch's Diamond Shop. Shout out to Hutch's in Detroit. If you uh, if you're into diamonds and jewelry and stuff like that, he, that's yeah. Um, let me see. And, and one thing, while you're looking that up, a lot of people don't know about Detroit is there's there's two sides to Detroit rap. Yeah. There's what I call the dealer side. Right. And then yeah. there's the hood side. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Now, the dealer side is your Guilty Simpsons, your Slum Villages, your Danny Browns, right. yeah. your D12s, right. your Obi Trices, yeah. you know what I'm saying? To a certain extent, your right. Tricks. Um, they still represent gritty, but they they don't represent really the, the, the dope boy trap. It's more, yeah, more it's, it's, yeah. MCing. It's more like they might be on, they, they gonna give you more of the, the actual, like, bars. struggle right. yeah. through bars and lyrics. Concepts and, and actual, yeah. Yeah. It's radio ready. They made radio ready. Well, it's gonna be, it's gonna be like, real, you know well, that's, yeah. no, that's the, that, they're the slap on. They're usually like, the slap on. Some village yeah. made yeah. it to a certain, yeah, yeah they'll make it to certain things. Yeah. They had a couple of things. Dwell A, Dwell A, Dwell A had a couple of But he produced. He produced, uh, yeah. he don't do well, I mean, he ain't. And then, and then I mean, he produced a lot. Last time I seen something, yeah, he produces yeah. a lot. Because That's what, as I'm artist, not talking about last time I seen him singing is on a McDonald's commercial. And then you got what I say. He produced some white music. The street, hood side, which is like your Eastside, your Bronx, your Street Lords. Right. And they have the and they're the ones with like the bass. I call it the Detroit flow. Shout out to my cousin, Big Herc. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, what up, Big Herc? Another Detroit legend. Yep. Um, but yeah, 
Yeah, um, so you know what I mean? Like, yeah, so, so yeah, talk about what's hot, you know? All right, so, well, so if you want, hot. if I plug that in, we will it will it play if it play to that we give like a quick yeah, yeah, yeah. snippet of it yeah yeah all right that'd be lit is that is that the court um actually not you know what it is you uh here let me just give you my phone bye bye oh because you bluetoothed on the uh yeah yeah now i will say this detroit has branched out and evolved now the, the, the cat i'm about to show you does fit that yeah that, like that Sean, street he doesn't fit really on either side which one big sean he doesn't he represents one of the he represents one of the one of the new he represents though. he he used to be struggle now he's more so like bossing up talking about but yeah he really but don't he really have a message either though he he just in be, a he's different he's commercial lane, so he got yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah he just show you he, he can spit but like you had you have the 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 hood trap i shoot the fuck out of you uh like detroit stuff then you have like the underground backpacky i'd say that's like the l size the slum villages yeah. the you know what i'm saying ob trices where you have they have their fans but they get slept on more than they should mm-hmm. now there's <laughs> these little these little motherfuckers want to be rock stars now so you have cats that do turned up just lit lyrical just crazy shit mm-hmm. i'm gonna show you uh my boy evan the twerk guy um sada baby is we'll go through the stages so the first stage is we'll say the hood mm-hmm. trapping what people would expect to hear from detroit i beat your ass type shit right um, they got a battle scene too. They got mad leagues. You know what I'm saying? They got uh, Alpha League. They got Game huh. Street. You need to, I can just push play. Yeah, yeah, just push play. All right, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna skip it to the uh, to the second uh, verse, and so you'll hear the hook, and then just listen to this nigga wordplay. Like in Detroit, when people listen to Detroit uh, music, when people when people listen to Detroit music, it usually is a certain. Typical rhyme scheme and structure. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Then you have the and Detroit the artists. Then you have the yeah. Detroit artists yeah. like the Obi Super Trice, recycled. the Royce, the Five Nines, the Eminem. The that they have a flow that is like it's fluid. Like he no, has a flow that's fluid. His wordplay yeah, is it nuts. Never, it never changes. That's true. It yeah. never changes. So yeah. peep, peep, peep his wordplay. I'm, I'm gonna try to it's drop it in on the on the hook and in the first verse. Now his wordplay. Now he'll beat your ass on some like it's still on that Detroit message type shit. But his wordplay is just <laughs> lit. Alright, right, I'm about to tell you. Oh, shit. Don't take it. Keep his wordplay. You know what I'm saying? Then you know what I'm saying? You be, you meet some of the coolest, most down to earth, funny motherfuckers. If you on some fuck shit or some slick shit, it ain't like a lot of cities. Like bitch, next time I fucking see you, Detroit, like it, it, nigga, it's popping now, and I'm on your right ass. Now, like, on site. Back. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, hey, real quick, just quick side note, Corey, you can leave names out, but <laughs> talk about the nigga who. It was a nigga who you was telling me about one time who you gave a pass to because he was going to go see a chick. But every other time that y'all saw each other, it was on Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright, so growing up, I swear this is no bullshit. This is not an over exaggeration. 
Growing up, I fought the same nigga my entire life. <laughs> Intentional or not. From I'm talking about from the age of seven all the way to the age of 22, I fought this nigga my whole life life yeah, yeah. intentional or not it started out as kids little kid shit you know you go to school like brothers, nigga. you go to school brothers. you know and niggas still nah up. usually a fight like you it's that motherfucker you don't get along with at school you fight and they become the best of friends yeah like nah you fight a nigga all your life you hate that motherfucker yeah, but it's not like that no more it's going it's crazy how it changed around like seven it was like this nigga stole my chair in the lunchroom Give it back or I'm beating your ass. You know what I'm saying? Little kid shit like that. Like, get up on my seat or I'm beating your ass. So that went I just on. needed a reason to scratch. And yeah. then, you middle school, cause... you know, we getting into sports. Niggas start filing. You throw them back. You know what I'm saying? Like, little shit like that. Middle school shit happened like that. High school, um, I moved to the Burbs. He was still in the city. And... I was fucking with a female that was his girl, and I didn't know it. He didn't know it either. We ended up at the same party, and he was like, you fucking with this nigga? Another fight right there. We get into it. (laughs) College. College. I'm in college, bro. I go home. I'm kicking it with my grandma, all this, 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 and this. My little cousin, she out playing all this. Her and my other little cousin, they playing. He knocked one of them down. <laughs> they came back to the house yelling, this grown man beat me up. No shit. Who is this grown man? I get there, he <laughs> is right there. I'm <laughs> like, like at this point we see each other and his homeboys, like his homeboys is like, his homeboys is like, yo, who is this nigga? <laughs> And at this point, we got a mutual respect for each other because we didn't beat each other ass our whole life. <laughs> so he looking, I can hear him talking. He like, bro, he he was like, he ain't no hoe, but I'm tired of this shit, bro. Like, so he just apologized and walked it off. And then we didn't even fight that time because we was both on some, we tired of this shit. Like, it's getting weird. So we leave it alone. I come back again. I'm eating, I'm chilling. Another chick. <laughs> And he like, man, let's just get this over with. Fuck it. We just talking. Like, at this point, we talking. He taking off all this shit. I'm like, yo, this shit gonna happen forever. Like, I feel like I'm gonna have to knock your ass out for good. He laughing and shit. We get to fighting right there. And that was the last time. After that, I moved out. I moved to D.C. I'm pretty sure if I go back home, if I go back home, my son gonna be like, oh, this, this, I fought this dude at school. It's probably gonna be that nigga's son. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? Like, he tell him fuck with him. He gonna tell him. Like, it's one nigga. And both all our homies. So who usually be winning? Huh? I lost like twice. That was it. Cause when I was younger, you know, I was a small nigga in the neighborhood. I was, you know what I'm saying? But I was quick, so I felt like I could beat anybody ass. I took two L's to the nigga, and after that, I just never let it go. I was like, I'm gonna beat your ass. Like, no matter how many times I lose, I'm gonna knock you out once. And after that, I just never lost to that nigga, but it's all. He was in his mind, now he doing the same thing. Did you knock him out or just beat his ass? No, I just beat his ass. Like, we was fatigued. Now his mind, he like, shit. I can't let that. We was both fatigued because he was bigger than me. And now his mind, he was like, I was too old on this nigga. He was chewing up my punches. (laughs) I'm too old on this nigga. But he got tired. Get my ass beat ever since. I hit this nigga, like, all my life, he been bigger than me. Like, an easy 80 pounds on me my whole life. So, he just... We just go blow for blow, and I could never just like knock this nigga out. Something happened. Like one time, his eye closed up, and I got worried because the cops was around the corner. So I was like, "Man, I'm done." Went back to the house or whatever. But after that, we just get fatigued. That's why we, after we saw each other, we was like, "Man, fuck it." We just walk it off, yeah, because it was getting too weird. I'm like, dog, like God keep leaving me to beat your ass. I don't understand, dog. <laughs> That's crazy. That's yeah, crazy. So, so yeah, anyway, that shit was fun. That's a lady. I don't know why that reminded me of that. Yeah, go ahead, though. <laughs> that on site shit. That shit was fun. That's what it was. Right, another, uh, I, not to make take it too long. Another dope artist is Oba Rollin. This one I'm gonna uh, play. Oba Rollin is fire. Shout out to Oba. Oba Rollin is dope. O b a r o w l a n d. Oba Rollin. That's hey, oh, when after I went, this, when I went to Ferris. I threw a party up there, and he came. Uh, you know what I'm saying? 
didn't charge me, drove his ass up to Ferris from Detroit, so it was a three hour drive, this nigga came up and showed love, and he performed at the party I threw. So Look, that shit was in like 2000. This one, 2009. So this like, one uh, is produced by my, my brother, Irock. Irock says, who uh, he produced. Uh, back up, <coughs> the Big Shine, Days Love Back Up. So this is the same production. This this song is is lit. This one's called My Dog. Okay. Now this another Detroit nigga. Now all right, he represents the type of uh, Detroit cat. He represents the type of Detroit cat that. Oh yeah, this He come from the hood. He he'll beat your ass type shit, but that's not what he portrays in his music. His music, he he dope lyrically and he gives you dope music. You know what I'm saying? He, 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 even though he'll, he'll dabble into that type of music, but he just makes dope music that each is like his own little classic type shit. So this one's called My Dogs. This nigga's flow is bananas. I stay up fucks with these niggas. I don't remember. Shout out to Ira for this beat, because this beat is nuts. Diamond and bitches are not the congenital. But when you're the man, they just seem to come with. Chop it in hand if it's beat to come with. Get no fuss about my regrets, I'm offended. Look like the offspring of Brio descent. Go to go to go to go to my neck. That that's Oba. Oba Oba is is lit. Um, now as far as the young breed of of uh, cold cats coming out, Evan the twerk guy, all one word, uh, he's lit. He is dope. Um, and shout out to my bro Heisenberg. He does a lot of the producing for uh, Piranha Gang. Um, Evan, if you want to go. To a party, be turned up, and get a bitch ass on your on your meat. Mm-hmm. Play his music. Okay. He, they, Evan the twerk guy. People be thinking that he the twerk. No, he make twerk and hype and lit ass music. So um. You wanna know what? I had to meet him at your crib before I realized like he was an actual rapper. Cause I'm like yeah. twerk guy. It's funny cause at my crib when you know people be at my house, they're like not the on stage and in there like. Off. Full thrown up <laughs> element. So like, and yeah. then when they hear oh him or see him on like in their element, it's like, oh, that's old boy that was checking. Yeah. <laughs> so um, let me see a dope one. Lean cuisine. Uh, get blessed. The get blessed uh, album is nuts. I I play lean cuisine. He's got so many dope ass tracks. Um, I play lean cuisine. <clears throat> I did the uh, actually did the cover art uh, for the get get blessed project. Oh, that's so. Is that what you uh? Is that what you got going? Like, is that what you do? Cover art or something like that? Uh, yeah, I'm an artist. I'm a writer. I'm a producer. I'm a creative director. I'm uh-huh. a uh. So it just depends on what. Well, make sure to get all your social media and all that shit at the end. Did so you bring your tablet? For sure, for sure. So no, I'm gonna bring yeah, my tablet man. next time I fall through. Cause I, I'm gonna show you. Uh, I'll show you some of my music and shit too. And uh, we could definitely write some shit too. But um, yeah. So with Evan, I do a lot of um creative direction with him. Um, and we we even got some music we about to get in the lab and do, but um, I've done a lot of creative direction for him and a lot of people in Parada Gang. But this is a matter of fact. Don't want to play. Yo, after Fuck it, this, I will. after Wait. this, I got a question I want to ask all y'all, and I know it's gonna take a minute. That's all, right. all I want to say after this. All right, all right this will be the last artist that we talk about. <laughs>
Yeah. But he actually got bars. That's just an album track. This this is some get your best booty cheeks clapping. Shout out to Right. That's all I was saying. I was like, I didn't even know they still had that shit going. Yes, if you want to have fun sex with a chick and get sweaty, fuck to, fuck to some of that type of music. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is not if you want to have fun. You want to have fun sex, not not passion, love sex, this fun, fun, sweaty, boosh nickens. Not that, that's that missionary. <laughs> This podcast we've ever had. This is hilarious. The Ratchet Zone. All right, so um, so you saying we in the Ratchet Zone? Up my yeah, hatred. We've the Ratchet Zone. <laughs> this is what I want to ask y'all. This is what I want to ask y'all. Now, like every generation had a meaning to it. You know what I'm saying? Like they, it clearly had an image. Like the old niggas was all about the struggle and the love and all that other shit. You had your Al Greens, you had Tupac, War, all that shit. You know what I'm saying? That Black Panther movement. They was all about that that struggle. Our generation was more we're going to change the world. We had, Yeah, right, was yeah. Conscious. Ours was more yeah. conscious. We was waking Our, up. We were starting to wake up. Ours, we was bringing people together. Like, we was like, the, you can see us being the result of the of the struggle yeah. generation. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, speaking of the Yachty shit, what do y'all see this new generation as? Because <coughs> music, <laughs> musically, <laughs> everybody <laughs> don't respect them. Image-wise, people don't respect them. I put it them. to you this way. The, the most trash rappers are gonna get the attention of the major record labels because it's dumbed down. Well, not just and musically that's what they though. Do. So not your, just your joy badasses, what, what, like so your like younger. What do they represent? Yeah, like what do they represent? Because we had we had they, people on every level. Like for the struggle generation, they had like the Fab Five and the niggas that changed the way the NBA. They had you know what I'm saying. They had activists. They, they represent. They had shit they on every level. We had shit on every the level. Stupid motherfucking but generation. Who they got? I don't think so. They rep- I don't this they is why. This is why they rep- to me. They represent the Go stupid ahead. motherfucking generation. Our generation, like the generation single, before single that, parent. it was all about like generation. teamwork and togetherness and this and that. Then our families was about getting a good job and family structure. So we have that about the respect for the OGs type shit. The, you know what I'm saying? Hierarchy structure. Yeah. How life works. Yeah. These new motherfuckers, all of them are, I'm a legend. I'm the shit. I'm the, they, I, how long you been rapping? Six months. They all think they know everything. Because like they don't now, know. that's the they that's the mentality of youth anyway. That's the mentality of youth. Now that's the mentality of youth. But most youth didn't have that OG that's like, hey, um, bruh, this is you want to be the man. This is how you become the man. You know what I'm saying? Where now the youth is almost scared. It's scary to say like the industry, the OGs and the motherfuckers in the industry, like they're allowing them to like just, there's no rules, there's no structure, there's no, you know what I'm saying, you can act like whoever you want to act like, you can act like rap like another rapper, you can use his slang and his slogans, there's no rules, no structure, there's complete chaos, everybody thinks they're the shit, everybody thinks they're the best rapper, even though it's mumble rap and don't nobody, if you now, ask them what they're talking about, again, answer nothing. And as far as 
hip hop culture wise, 100% agree. With you. Now, as far as on a generational level, I think it's bigger than. But the, and that's the thing. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. That so, generation, if you listen way, to all of these, I think it's bigger than that in a positive way. The positive about that is they all want to be bosses. They all want to work. They they all want to make their own money. Yeah. They're all realizing that they want to work right now and that, that they can and, make a dollar now. That, that and, but, people, but they don't respect too. it though. But, but people too, right? Right. They don't. So, and they don't respect again, people right. because they value materialism and money. They got this everything now. They got this. Everything that you this say. Is, they got oh, this. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. They got this. Hey, when it Siri. comes to hip hop culture, we to look and when it comes to, to the hip hop music, yeah. I agree with you 100%. No, because it. Wait, let me finish. All right, all right, for sure. But when I say it's bigger than that on the positive side of things, I'll give you an example. Pee Wee Longway, right? He's a straight nigga rapper, you know what I'm saying? He, he claimed his, his gang and all that type of shit in the songs and all that, right? Mm -hmm. So, but. He's got a video where it's him and three white boys rocking out, and it's just them, the yeah. whole video. You know what I'm saying? There ain't no other niggas in the video but him and three white boys, and they, and he rapping the same street he shit. He got them in the hood. You see what I'm saying? So it's like, what, with this generation on the positive side, because I always bash him, so I want, I want to try to say something good. I mean, uh, it's, no, fuck that. Now would you, now would you say, now would you say, would you say that's think. just the, because the hip hop has been infil infiltrated by companies and now it's yeah. bought that. That, that's just we now allow where hip hop is a representation of the struggle and the culture. Now assimilators they don't have to know or give a fuck about the struggle. They can just tag yes, along and be like, finish. what that's up? What I, what I, I like struggle music because it's just pretty to me. Like yes, so now we allow assimilators to, to, to infiltrate in. Yes, that no. doesn't because, necessarily make it positive. Well, but so yes and no, right? Because for example, like Going back to the Detroit rappers. That That's what I'm saying. T. Grizzly is on Billboard. When you go to like, the, come when you go to the, uh, <laughs> the Dillard side White people rap, love that song. How many niggas in Detroit T. listen T. to the Dillard side of T. rap in Detroit that you know? Like, not too many, right? Just, just, like, just, just the pockets, the underground. But it's the pop yeah, heads, yeah. You it's, know who supports it's, all of that shit? White people. From yeah. Europe. They're the ones that keep That's right. That's right. That's right. You know what I'm saying? So without them, that's I got contacted by London. So, you see what I'm saying? So, you know what I mean? One side of it is they just appreciate that shit because it's a different perspective. It's like watching a movie almost to them. Because everything, like, everything to them is entertainment. The like, Damn, that's what life is like in the hood. It's not easy. Like it's 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 turning into a different world. It's like watching is there not saying that they're saying animals, it's, obviously, no, but it's, no, it's like watching no, animals. Yeah. It's a whole other world. Yeah. Like so. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I think in that aspect, it's a good thing because they represent freedom. They represent just be yourself. All right, now who you want to be? Let me, but the thing is, but this the thing. Hold on, but this the thing. Let me put something else if, out here before you. The thing you about respond. the Yachty, because it started with Yachty, right? The no, thing is with these young cats. No, 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 no. I'm not saying no, no. I'm not saying it started with Yachty. I'm saying the combo started with Yachty. Yeah. Oh yeah. Where I was directing that, how it ties into what we were saying about Yachty, is the younger generation. They're more so caught up in, like, if you ask them what they want to be, they don't give a fuck, really. They just want to be famous and know they want to have a bunch of money. Sure, like, sure. they want the end goals. They want to be the boss. They want to sure. act like the boss. They want to flex like the boss. They want to do all these things, but they don't necessarily want to understand. Or That's what consuming a product and being a consumer does. But do you now, but that mentality, though? but that means, oh, oh, this is how, but that mentality, is, th th that mentality is leased the into them. Because they now, up. they don't, they don't have, like, they don't. Everybody thinks they're boss. Everybody thinks they're big, what they think they are. Mm -hmm. They don't have to work for it and then the, 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 the struggle aspect. So when you then, they get interviews and you be like, damn, I love this song because art is reflective, right? That's why I love being an artist. What we put, even if we put it out there for a deliberate reason, mm -hmm. People are going to take from it what they go through or what they, you know what I'm saying, whatever, oh, right. how they attach to it, how they, you know what I'm saying, vicariously live through that record. And the thing about that is people nowadays are putting way more depth and thought into what they think the artist was talking about. And then you'd be like, hey, so uh, because they are influencing cultures and, and influencing younger mentalities yeah. where we as older people, even when we were younger, we understood that we still need that guidance from that OG. Yeah. This generation, they don't give a fuck about that. And at the same time, when you ask them, damn, you dope. What was the concept behind that? <laughs> Really, cuz I was just high as fuck and I was just freestyling. I, I, what do you love about being an artist? Nigga, I started this shit about nine months ago, cuz. Hey, hey. Like, oh, all right, now listen to this. Listen to this before y'all keep going. So, this is what brought it up. This is gonna make y'all get more responses. So, I was arguing with a young nigga, right? 
Cause I told him I hate Yachty. This nigga loved Yachty, and he loved Soldier Boy. Which now why do you hate Yachty? They, they, they the that, same. Now that they the same, same nigga, nigga to me. Exact same nigga. That's real. That is the same nigga. So they that made me mad off <laughs> That's top. Real. But That's the reason it made the reason I hate Yachty is not cause of the music he made. Cause I get it. Like I watch this interview. <coughs> if I hate you, I need a reason. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Other than that, you just irritate me. I'm just right. Okay. But I hate I hate him. Because, like you said, he don't know what the fuck he doing, and he he, he the music is for the he said it. He was like, this is he was like, I'm 19. I made music based on my experience. This nigga's experiences is high school and lunch right. period. Yep. And they asked him, so where, you wanna, so where you want to be? A, where you want to be? And where he you like, I gotta argue. With I don't all these, know. And like, he, he was like, no yeah, he was like, I gotta process. argue with all these old niggas when I'm just out here. He 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 basically said he was having fun for money. Yeah, yeah. That's basically what he was saying. Oh, I'm just having fun. He didn't for even money. know he was in a 360 deal or he what a 360 deal yeah. was. Now man. this this is what made me mad because when I was arguing and with that's the young the thing about the young generation, right? He was the, like, the Uzi he was like, verse, hold on, hold all on. of them, they get to talking about how much fun they're having, how much money they got, oh, and don't understand they get this is pimp. This is what uh this and is what kicked up you. the conversation because he was like, so you hate him? He was like, but Soldier Boy was your generation, and I was like, I didn't fuck with him either. I was no, like, no, I got wait, it. He did the you? dance shit. How old are you? Huh? Soldier Boy was in our tw- well, 20s. So how old are you? Wait. I'm so- 27. Oh, okay, oh, okay. Maybe yeah, that's yeah. I'm, I'm at 31. But I'm saying, like, every but generation had their perception of the trash rappers. But this is the thing, though. But I said, even those I trash told, rappers, I told him, back in the 90s, I told trash him. Trash rappers were still trying to say that. I told him. Wait, I, they could have been a weak nigga rapping about hoes, right. but he was still trying to rap about hoes. But this is the thing. Hold on, hold on. This is where the perspective shit kicked in his head. Because he said he don't fuck with Yachty after what I said. And I didn't expect that. If you die hard, yeah, I ain't. Even, this is where it changed. See, and that's why I told, you can't, I told him, you I was can't like, hard fuck shit. I was, right? like, I was you, like, I don't fuck with your generation. And he liked the logo for y'all generation. Because our generation, right. our generation is, to not we had to go do know. some shit in order to do some we shit. We understood the I was value like, of a in dollar. Even if we didn't have a dollar. In basketball, we, we looked up to the Fab Five because we saw them. And some short starving and right. shit on TV, but right. they was balling and niggas was making money off of them. So we looked up to them because we knew they went through some shit to get where they was. Right. We watched Ivo when this right. nigga was getting locked yeah. up and all this other shit and dropping, they had a talent dropping to buckets represent on everybody. The hard you know work they saying? put in. And then in the rap game, we saw these niggas going through the shit that they was rapping about. Right. Y'all generation is the watching shit. Y'all, y'all the VR generation. Like y'all put on some shit. Y'all watching nigga on World Star. Now y'all think y'all those. hood. You know what right, I'm saying? Now right. y'all think y'all the same. Oh, here, let me, let me cool Google, let me, think that let me means Google some. some fights in the in the in this city. Let me oh, Google yeah. some fights in Tempe. Yeah. Oh, this is my hood. We live in Tempe. Like you ain't been doing it. That say, and that's yeah. the thing. Hey. That's why I said I don't respect it because I was like y'all don't. The fake it y'all don't go through none of this shit. Y'all don't go through none of this shit. Y'all learn. Y'all ask Google. You know what I'm saying? Y'all ask Google about the struggle. Y'all don't gotta. We had to go through a process. Microwave society. Right when I, they don't have right to, when they I don't showed have them that, I showed them, I showed them an interview from T.I. T.I. was like, we wasn't letting niggas no. in the game unless they knew, unless we knew they was thorough. He was like, y'all right. new niggas drop a hot, a hot crack bar and now y'all the most gangsters niggas in the game. Right. And I was like, they never went through it. Right. You know what I'm saying? And, like, then, and then you, and like, just like the Yachty. He's a perfect example. He's a representation of the mentality of the young country. I was like, they can he, sit there and hop on the track and be rapping and talking about interview. shooting and thugging. The nigga live with his mama. He don't you, track yeah, do none of that shit. It's interview. just fun to in rap about. In the interview, when they asked him about the struggle, he was like, "Man, I was in college. I was eating noodles, nigga. That was your struggle, <laughs> right? Eating noodles at college and not be, and then dropping out after a couple months because it wasn't fun and he wasn't nobody accepted him." That's what I'm saying. That's why I was like, I hate young generation. Put don't put time into nothing I was to like, like I get to your master music. it. They like they, I get it. You listen to rotation. you listen to a, a song. They can have a hook about bitches, and in, in the verse they got they done killed tw- ten motherfuckers, yeah. sold drugs, smoked half of it, uh, fucked everybody's bitch, and yeah. has threatened every last nigga that they have a, a problem with. And that's new, every song, and every and they eat that and shit up. And I told them I was like, and they eat that shit up, and then they're like, that nigga killed it. I relate to that shit. It's like, I was like he relate. He said, but this what, this like what I, this what I told him. This what made. But he ain't lived none of it though. I was like, I was like, y'all don't grow into who y'all supposed to be. No, and he didn't get that. I was like. I was like, like Detroit. You ain't never been to Detroit. I was like, tell me everything about Detroit that you know. 
He mentioned Eight Mile, Big Shine, all the all the dry shit, all the dry shit. You know what I'm saying? Like he mentioned all that shit. I was like, but every nigga in Detroit ain't hood. I was like, the real people you respect, Eminem. He rapped about being a white boy who wasn't fighting like that, who was in the hood, who Who's just had bars, him? and that's who that nigga is. I was like, everybody that you and look Eminem up is to, a great, Eminem was, is a, is a, is, is, is yeah. just one of the goats. I'm, I'm, but and I'm telling, but I, Eminem was not in Detroit like that up but until I'm, he was rapping. He but was I'm telling, that's what I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, everybody ain't hood. I was like, I never told you I shot nobody. I went riding through the block. I was like, I was a backpack nigga. I was raised by my grandparents. I fought all the time, but that's cause I, that's how the city built. You know what right. I'm saying? The young you going the wrong they neighborhood, you're going to have to fight. Music anyway, Yo, though. nigga, I like your like, shoes. Yeah. Oh, it's them like, yays. Like, you know, like different hoods. Like, and I'm like, like, these, you know, kids like these kids is watching, and they pick. Hear me rap about yeah. killing nobody. And I'm telling them. I'm like, I'm like, y'all that's pick. You, that's cause you but I'm telling them. This is what I told them. I'll rap about my homies doing that type of stuff. I told them. I told them straight up. I was like, look, y'all pick who y'all want to be. That's y'all motherfucking problem. Y'all watch YouTube. Oh, what the fuck Clyde's talking about? The what these niggas right. talking but see, about? The and that's thing nowadays is they we ain't make got culture, no choice. We gotta go through what we go through, like and a, that's a, who we are. A, a fucking, they make rap culture is art. now a commercially marketable thing. So now people, even you got people now. Oh, I rap the culture because you fuck rappers and shit. No, yeah. like <laughs> it, it's so commercialized that the yadis, they don't, the young generation, they don't have to stand for nothing. They don't. You know what I'm saying? They, they, you, if they're in the room with us and we talking about old school and having old Jesus shit, they yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk about rules and guys, yeah, 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 yeah. Then they go to a young motherfucker, I don't give a fuck, man, this time to die. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. They just turn it, they're like chameleons. They just, whatever yeah. information, the is hot shit that's on the radio, there's too much that's what they try to act with. That's what I mean when they I was like, like, I was like, what yeah, do I see? Yeah, they've been rapping about fucking everybody, see. bitch, right? right? Fucking the baddest hoes, not the shit. On an interview, he lost his virginity to a prostitute, I mean, not a prostitute, to a, uh, a porn star after did. he got sad and famous after and then somebody wanted to fuck his weird looking ass. But that don't change him all prior to, like, like 18. They was like, how old but this the thing though. 19? Back in the day, it, back in in the 90s, back in the 2000s, yeah. we if we talked about it, you had to be about it. And if you didn't, and you got shown that you were talking about some shit you wasn't about, you got discredited. You don't matter then. Right. Especially you, in our era, now you can be proven nice. to be a fuck nigga or a liar, and it's just cool. Yeah. So as, long as, as, as long as they can sell an image. As long as they can sell an image. You talking that shit, niggas will press you. But that's what I was telling. I was like, I was like. That's what I was telling. I was like, y'all need to put that boy. I was like, y'all gotta go through some shit to find out who y'all are. Y'all can't Google and fucking ask Jeeves to see who you are. Like when I was in the city, when niggas was robbing and trapping and shit, like I knew how my grandparents was. I knew if I brought that shit home, I wasn't gonna have no house. Right. So that told me who I was. I'm not that nigga. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like you change over time, but you can't. You can't fucking watch TV to figure out who you are. Exactly. And like, that's the thing, this young generation, they, it's almost like, I'm saying, I don't even know what movie it is, but like, I, th- like when, when a motherfucker like watch something and then the motherfucker just think like he's that. Yeah. <laughs> that's what the new generation yeah. is. Like they just watch yeah, it and then they like, be like, all right, I, I, I hear that. Like, yeah. And then yeah, you're like, oh, you know about the, oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, that's which one you go crazy. to? Oh, no, 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 I, um, I Googled it online. Right. Like they don't even have to experience it to act like they're a part of it. Accessible to a human. There's too it much. Is, it's a microwave it. society. It's, they they want it now. They don't give a fuck had, how it was. We had dictionaries, nigga. From. We had the 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 sources. We had, work. We had, we had almanacs, work. nigga. That's we had fucking we had books. Work. Books. Like, we had a motherfucking, a motherfucking pen book. and paper. Like, God they be, damn, oh, dog. we want you to do this report. Here go your motherfucking pencil. These we motherfuckers got a phone. Right? They can do it right in class. We right had in front of you. Just yeah. typing. Like, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? And like, shit. They, like they, they don't know. put in no work. They just be like, oh, I know what you know, but I know more. But you can, can you do it? You don't can you do it, though? And see what, the to sum it all up, they're the following generation. They, they, they're quick to follow what they think. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? We'll get them the quickest you know what I'm easy, saying, thing that they yeah, think they want. Easy. They'll, they're, they're quick. They want to take the easy route. They want to take, yep. you know what I'm saying? Now, the good thing, not to bash them little bastards all day, the good <laughs> thing about them is because they're so money hungry and materialistically driven, our generation is the generation where 
we want to be our own boss. We want to work and grind and put in the work, and then we we want to own our own shit. You know what I'm saying? We want. To, you know what I'm saying? We understand how the game is getting. They don't pimped. give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? They. they about- the dope thing about them is they earlier on are on the entrepreneurial path but the thing about them is because they have they that microwave mentality they because they, they, want, they want the microwave mentality they, they go the easiest routes you know yeah that's they what go I said the they ain't gonna know what to do with it you know what I'm saying they gonna be like the if you wanna if and you so wanna they're, they're if dumb you wanna generation. convert it to music just, if, if, they, if, if, if you wanna what convert they it to music perspective they're gonna be the one hook wonders the hood hot niggas yeah 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 they gonna sign, be there sign where they blow up, deal. they get this legendary yep. amount of money because of what they did, but they don't yep. know how they got it and they don't know how to keep Google it going. Google fucks yep. it up. It's the Google generation. They don't, they don't know, right. and that's the thing. Our generation, we came from, we want to be the CEOs of our own shit. So then we were told by our OGs who were priorly told, get a school, get a good job, you can raise your family. With, with the economy, you could. You can't now. Right. Our generation, you got to own shit. Yeah. Their generation... They don't mind signing and being some up under somebody else. They just give a fuck about the money, and it's the quick money in their face. The yeah. right now, it's like yeah, the mi- yeah. they bought into the microwave mentality. Yeah. You know like what I'm the saying? females, for example. A lot how many Instagram spoiled, models man. you know? Money was pumping. How many of them on there? Model. Every young, every young female every, is an Instagram she model. She don't even gotta have ass no more. She, she, she don't even gotta be cute no more. She she gets paid though, right? Ass right? So line, but what's she doing? Ass so line and get popular. But that's the thing. But they get money though, right? But now now it's about fame, and that's the thing. It's Daddy about fame. Me. It's not even about Daddy. having a talent. Like in in the nineties, in the two thousands, if you want longevity, you have to work hard at your yeah, craft right. or your passion and your talent to display an amount of talent that people are like, damn, that's worth watching and looking into. Exactly. Now with the young niggas, it's just like the follow generation, you taste. don't have to have talent. But think about they think so about money what we hungry. Said. Think whatever about what we whatever said. they tell it you to do, they're willing to do. Think about it. We said the struggle generation was before us. Yep. We the yeah. conscious generation. Yeah. Now it's the niggas that and think they know it. Yeah. Don't that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. We conscious, oh God, so yeah. we put all the knowledge. Oh, yeah. Now they think they know it. Now they think, yeah. And, and now because it's so accessible, people get caught up into thinking and the that thing they that know I'm, so I'm wondering much. about is after you know everything, what happened? They usually fall apart. So the generation oh, after that, happen? what they going to be? They They're going to be the struggle generation all over again. Lean babies. Fucking lean and mommy babies. And these young little niggas, they don't have OGs. That's like, we got OGs that we can, even if we trying to upstart a business, we got an older cat, yeah. savvy player that knows the game. You know what I'm saying? Like, we got those, that, that type of, yeah. where these little niggas, they're so arrogant, disrespectful. Like, we're the generation where even though we well, have we our own way of them. thinking from we the older generation, from the old heads, we still have a, 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 a kind of correspondence. Yeah. Because they're so full of themselves thinking they know everything. But they don't just, give a fuck about the generation the above them. We, we, we would be their OGs. Yeah. We would be their OGs. Yeah. And I take on, you know what I'm saying, we, we, like our generation take on some of the, uh, you know what I'm saying, the, the, yeah. the smarter niggas that yeah, act like time. us. You know what I'm saying, that act that's like us. We, we in the middle, like, we caught a glimpse of the old head generation. Cause they're they triple OGs still around. Now. We're the double OGs you know and they think that they OGs by default. They don't Jesse understand Jackson the structure and then the Michael protocol. Jackson, they was all they still don't have around like that. The they and like, then them old we niggas. lost Muhammad Ali. Like we lost everybody that they had. Then it was our generation, so we could figure out how they got to where these young fucks you know, at. But we were privileged. You know what I'm saying? Do you yeah. know? And you had to have your own see. voice back then. Yeah. Yeah. Having to have your yeah. own voice, yeah. you had to have talent to attract. That. Every see, time somebody died, and I was like, you probably never gonna see this again. Man. Now because the it's the following generation, to watch, y'all probably never like, gonna know what that is. Man. Like they all you know sound like each other, and it, yeah. nothing's wrong they with don't that. Know what it That's is. What I'm so saying. like they That's don't care crazy. about you can binge watch it, but the end results. They don't right. care about. Pro- Remember when you had to get home in a do, certain amount of they time? They don't sound like the typical young nigga. Remember before you? They don't sound like the typical mother. You heard some shit was coming on TV, and you was like, I gotta be home at eight or midday. They don't know nothing about that. They don't know nothing about that. and whack ass y'all. Did anybody fucking see Guardians of the Galaxy? No. Not the new no, one. Yet. Second one, no, no, no. Oh, okay. Well, well, right. I just got it. But I want to see it. I was just hoping somebody was like, God thing, damn it, it was the motherfucking shit. But the I'm thing, still gonna go the see thing it. that I always compare it to, because I was in a broadcasting major, that's what I got my degree in. Me too. The well, fucking kinda. everything that they put on TV and in and movies always correspond and tell more of the truth 
than what we know. Fact. Like Fact. What, politics, when we was talking about politics, as soon as something political happened, they put that shit on a show like Scandal, oh, yeah. and they'd tell Absolutely. you the truth. Fact. Because I watched Absolutely. it with my girl, and this nigga ran up on the president, and I he was scandal. like, That's he was like, you nothing but a pretty face. You think you run the country? Yeah. yeah. And I was like, yeah. damn, he gave you the harsh reality. As soon as some presidential shit go down, they put it in a movie yes, or on do. TV and they sell it. Scandal. When we was going to war with Iraq, you know how many Iraqi fucking games and movies? Call of Duty went to Iraq out of nowhere. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, they tell you the truth, but ignorance is bliss. And then they, 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 call, they call it entertainment to make the dumb motherfuckers like, oh, no, 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 that's just bullshit. It's just brainwashing. That's like the same shit about with the, uh, the motherfucking, like, in the movies when, like, the Like, like Empire, movies, Empire, 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 Empire is that music like, they be telling some real I shit. And then, like, motherfuckers like, oh, no, like, that's just entertainment, but it was a good-ass movie. I'm like, this and it's is like, how the industry get down. Money, money, it's a mindfuck. It's like, they're telling you some real shit. All right, so we're going to get up out of here in a minute, though, but, uh, It was live this time. Yeah, yeah, uh, Mo, go ahead, give me your social media, whatever you want them to know. Uh, you, you can, know, you can, you you can uh, check out some of my art. I don't really post many pictures and shit like that. I, you can check out some art, some tats, some cuts, different shit I do on my uh, Instagram at Mogul Minded Mo M O G U L M I N D E D M O, um, and my Snapchat M O G U L M O Mogul Mo. That's what's up. Uh, eighty six, real simple. Follow me on the gram. Eighty six since eighty six. That it. That's it. That's the numbers are uh, spelling out. Uh, A D, the letter six underscore since underscore eighty six. The number. There you go. Eighty six since eighty six. Uh, don't even bother fucking with this nigga C Wood on Twitter because this nigga don't ever be on there. I don't. I don't, I don't. I don't either. That's I don't fuck with Twitter. I don't, I don't really be on Twitter. I got Twitter, but it ain't no point of following me because I ain't tweeting in years. Go, if go, you go, follow me, I'll be on Twitter. Go die hard on Instagram because really I'm there. Like that, C Wood is on Instagram for sure, though, so we're working The Twitter shit, my shit been blowing up for about seven years and it's. That shit more live than I am, Twitter. dog. Every thirty seconds, my Twitter much. blowing it's up, too much going and I can't on, keep man. I can't try to keep up with the conversation. We're generation. We had emails. Yeah. We had AOL. You had to wait. Niggas be responding in thirty seconds. I'm like right. five oh, messages behind. Quick. I'm like yeah. fuck it. It's too quick, nigga. But uh, that's how it happens. Motherfuckers be treating goddamn school. social media like a fucking diary. Niggas be that's Woo. too, yeah, too chatty, Kathy, for me. I don't need my goddamn convos with my homies on on social media. Facts. <laughs> you want to get tatted? You want some design work? Some yeah. shit like that? Follow my brother at Eric G Life. Yep. Follow, follow that. Ill Roots at Ill Roots. Um, follow me at Shane G underscore MWC. Classic underscore Wood. Catch me on the gram, man. MWC, of course, stands for Midwest Coast. Uh, now you know why it's the Midwest Coast, because there's a gang of us out here, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. From the Midwest. Go back and forth. And don't talk shit in Detroit, you'll get the shit slapped out of you. Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> you might Fact. get shot. I don't know. Fact. You might you get shot, right. nigga. No, 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 niggas no, will no, slap no, the shit no, out of you first, just for the fuck of seeing the shit in your face. And, and then tell you the same thing. Now, if you want some pop shit, they'll do that too, though. But yeah, yeah, so, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Uh, thank y'all for joining us. Make sure that you rate. Yeah, uh, give us that five-star rating on iTunes. Subscribe, share this with everybody. Follow us on SoundCloud. Leave a comment. Follow us on YouTube. If you don't, Coast. you thirsty as hell. Yo, I got a question for both of y'all. You can, you can end this. You know, uh, we, but, we um, So, before I left, 